good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another WWE action figure set up for you guys, and it is MDT Live Edition. Yes, it is MDT Live Edition. You guys know yesterday we did an MDT Live Episode 13 preview. Today, we have a setup, and tomorrow will be officially MDT Live Episode 13 as soon as this video ends and is uploaded. As you're watching this, I am currently editing MDT Live 13, so I'm going to have it up for tomorrow. So I'm very excited about that. Finally, finally freaking done with that episode and it will be up to you guys very very good episode in my opinion i haven't even finished editing it yet and i know that it's going to be a banger but anyways let's go ahead and get started with the setup guys we got the backstage full as we always do and there's a little added bonus to it and we're going to start off with the bonus so with that being said guys let's go ahead and get into the bonus and then we'll get into our regular setup and then you guys can look forward to mdt live 13 being posted tomorrow morning so for the bonus guys you will see if we go behind the area right here you will see the MDT Extreme Champion Kevin Owens. You can see he's beat to hell from uh, from the MDT Royal Rumble. He's got his arm in a sling. He's got the bandages on his forehead. The other members of that matchup do not have anything done to them besides John Morrison. He has a neck brace on. You guys will see that later on. But um, uh, Kevin Owens here is absolutely beat the hell out of and he's the Extreme Champion. And the reason he's behind the wall here is because he's currently hiding. You know, this isn't where he's hiding but this is more of like some symbolism to say, you know, he's not there at the arena. He's sort of hiding. He's trying to get his thoughts together because as Extreme Champion, I know that everybody on the roster saw this man get the sh beat out of him. So, you know, they, they know that he's weak. They know that they could easily capture that Extreme Championship, and he knows that as well. So he's not going to be anywhere near the rest of the roster here, but he is hiding behind this thing. And I just wanted to make that known that he is uh, he's here, but he's not here, if that makes sense. But let's go ahead and get into the regular setup, guys. So we can start off in the, Let's change things up. Let's start off in this corner this time and let's get going right here you guys will see we got arted arted we have arted arted well, i don't know what the hell i was going for we have rated rko right here and they're causing some trouble there's sort of bullying heath slater right here you guys know heath slater sort of a sort of a lower tier uh player on mdt live but uh rated rko after their performance in the royal rumble they're pretty uh they're feeling pretty slighted and upset so they were eliminated by bray wyatt and since bray wyatt's not here on mdt live they're sort of taking their attention onto heath slater and taking their anger out on somebody else. So Heath Slater is going to pay the price as Randy Orton and Edge are taking their anger out on that man right there. Now we go back here guys, you will see we have John Cena and John Cena is throwing his MDT Championship The Champ Is Here t-shirt in the trash. You guys know following the Royal Rumble he is no longer the MDT Champion. So what is next for John Cena? Who knows? But we do know that he is no longer MDT Champion so he is getting rid of his t-shirt. He doesn't feel worthy I guess. He is getting rid of that shirt. He's throwing it in the trash and I guess he's going to have to find himself a new shirt. I mean he's not, the, he's not the MDT Champion anymore. So what's next for John Cena? We'll have to see on the next following weeks leading up to Hell's Gate. What this man's going to do, is he going to be able to qualify for the Elimination Chamber? Is he even going to make it to Hell's Gate? Is he going to make it to My Damn Nation? We will have to see. But right here, he is getting rid and, sh and he's shedding his MDT Championship shirt after losing his title to Roman Reigns. If we go to the back, guys, you will see a new stable on MDT Live. We have 100% American. We got Jack Swagger, the new U.S. Champion, along with his USA Bros. We got Zack Ryder and MVP all in their red, white, and blue gear all matching together and Jack Swagger of course did capture that US title at MDT Royal Rumble. He defeated Shelton Benjamin and he is standing alongside his brothers there with his championship looking pretty good in unison. I think they look pretty good together. I, th I like the way they're looking right there. So they, they look good in the corner. Coming over to the left a little bit guys, we do have Velveteen Dream and Cedric Alexander. Whoops, made it a little blurry there. We have Velveteen Dream and Cedric Alexander talking it up. These are the two newest signees to MDT Live following the MDT Royal Rumble. Two surprise entrants in that Royal Rumble. Number four in the Rumble was Cedric Alexander. He had a great performance. He actually got the first elimination in our history of our company, eliminating Cody Rhodes with a lumbar check. And then Velveteen Dream came in at number 27, eliminating Jeff Hardy. And so uh, Velveteen Dream actually has a Elimination Chamber qualifier on this episode of MDT Live 13. You guys saw he will go one-on-one -on -one with Dolph Ziggler, and he's just talking it up with Cedric Alexander right here. Both, both looking good in purple, man. They look good together. And so they're just talking it up backstage. I love the way the glasses look on Dream. That, like, look how good that pose looks with, with the glasses like tilted down. It's sort of like, you know, that, that, that just fits his personality so well. I know he probably wasn't chatted up backstage, but, you know, the cameras aren't rolling or anything besides the setup. But anyways, that, that is Velveteen Dream and Cedric Alexander, two new assignees trying to get familiar with one another, getting familiar with, you know, everybody in the company here. So they're sort of chatting it up. 
Right here we have an interview with Chris Jericho who also has an Elimination Chamber qualifier with Neville and he is chatting it up with an interview backstage because, you know, we're trying to get his thoughts on what he thinks. Of course he thinks he's going to beat Neville. You know, he's got to he's got to feel confident going in there. He had a pretty solid Royal Rumble outing as well. So he's getting interviewed. I'm sure that uh, he's letting that interview man have it. You know, it's not me. I'm, I'm on commentary in the arena, so I did not make it back here to interview Chris Jericho. But, you know, nonetheless, Chris Jericho getting his interview in with his nice little sleeveless entrance jacket. And I'm sure he's letting that man have it. If we come to the middle, guys, you will see the, uh, the Royal Rumble winner. Seth Rollins is here, and he is walking around. Big man on campus. He has a smile on his face. I'd have a smile on my face too if I overcame 29 other men and won the Royal Rumble and I'm going to you know go on for a championship opportunity of my choice at My Damn Nation. I'd have a smirk on my face as well. So Seth Rollins totally burned it down at the Royal Rumble and he's got his shirt on. He looks good walking around in the backstage area you know just chilling around just finding out what he's going to do man. He, gets, he has a choice. Is it going to be Roman Reigns or is it going to be Kenny Omega? That remains to be seen but we have Seth Rollins right there. Coming forward a little bit with the other half of the Elimination Chamber qualifying matchup we have Dolph Ziggler who again is going one-on-one -on -one with Dream on this episode of MDT Live, episode 13. So uh, he's walking around as well. He's got his hood up. He's trying to get, get focused for that matchup. He's got a big test ahead of him with Velveteen Dream. You know, both men are going to go right at each other. So uh, he's definitely got to be focused. He's got his hood on. Again, he's, he's trying to focus real hard and get ready for that matchup. So Ziggler is walking down the hall here, much like Rollins. And then next up, guys, we have CM Punk. And CM Punk is just sort of chilling right here. There was nowhere else for him to chill, I guess, the locker room area. But there's no locker room area right now. So CM Punk is trying to get his thoughts together following that loss to John Cena and Roman Reigns. You know, he did take the pinfall. He got double AA'd back to back. Roman Reigns would come in, throw John Cena out of the ring, and he would take the pinfall, losing that MDT championship opportunity that he had at the Royal Rumble. Following the win over AJ Styles, it sold out. You know, he's feeling good. He still has AJ Styles' hood on. You know, he still wears it as a pride symbol, you know, taking out AJ Styles, sending him away to vindication. But uh, nonetheless, he's feeling down on himself after coming up short in that triple threat match. You got you to feel for CM Punk here after that. So CM Punk is down on himself. You know, nowhere else to chill. Right here, we have Eric Bischoff, and uh, this man sort of losing his mind right here, trying to figure out who the hell ran over RVD in the Money in the Bank briefcase. You know, uh, who who is trying to take advantage of that? You know, we haven't really heard anything as of late, and uh, it's driving him nuts. So Eric Bischoff is going crazy right here. You know, I, I wanted him to be on display. I could have put him in his office, but uh, the, the office is torn down right now for other reasons, so I wanted to put him here so he's everybody can see he's kind of going nuts, and that would kind of tie into him going nuts if he's, you know, out in the middle of everybody just sort of losing his mind. So he's right here just overthinking everything, totally stressed out, can't figure it out. So Eric Bischoff with the Money in the Bank briefcase right there trying to figure out the RVD case. In the corner, we have the brand new uh, Roman Reigns MDT champion. We have the brand new MDT champion Roman Reigns looking good with his bloodline brothers, the Usos. So we have two full heel stakes on MDT Live, 100% American, and then we have the Bloodline with Roman Reigns and the Usos, all holding tag team gold, all having, you know, gold of themselves. You got the MDT Championship, MDT World Tag Team Championships, and uh, Zack Ryder and MVP don't have any gold, so maybe they'll be looking to t capture these. Who knows what those guys' plans are, but those are our two heel stables. They're both, you know, uh, just together making plans. Who the hell knows what the hell's going on in their sadistic brains? So uh, both of those teams are just kind of chilling. One in one corner, one in the other. Coming down, guys, we have uh, his signature radio with him. We have No Way Jose with a big smile on his face because he's sadistic and a freaking crazy man. We have No Way Jose, Bobby Lashley, and John Morrison, who you guys can see, he has a neck brace on in the wheelchair after taking that just devastating, just uh, horrendous, probably the craziest spot I've ever seen, package pile driver off the top of that truck onto the hood of the car in the parking lot at the MDT Royal Rumble, and then all these guys are beat the hell out of. Um, I know that Bobby Lashley and No Way Jose just look like they're chilling, but they, they definitely got the hell beat out of them, and this is just sort of symbolism of all them in the, in the you know, the medical area because they all just got the crap beat the hell and just, just they just got destroyed at the MDT Royal Rumble so they're all chilling right now because they are out of action at the moment and that I think is pretty much it for the uh for this action figure setup guys again I wanted to make an MDT live setup I, I need to do a vindication one it's been a while since we did you know pick fed specific action figure setups so I figured you guys would get a kick out of this one again tomorrow MDT live episode 13 will go live I'm very excited for it it will be early in the morning as you guys know and it's it's probably going to be a long episode Episode. And if I had to uh, project, I would I would probably say it's probably going to be the longest episode ever, just based off of 
filming and like uh, like the segments and the matches. There's three matches. There's some segments. I mean, it could end up being 30 minutes long. I could be wrong, but I think it, it'll at least be 25 minutes, I hope, is what I'm thinking. But we'll have to see about that. But I am excited for you guys to see it, and it's going to be an epic episode. Episode after the Rumble, I thought you guys said that Vindication Episode 13 was probably the best episode ever. So hopefully Episode 13 of MDT Live can match that in excitement and, and greatness and everything. But... That is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this WWE Action Figure Setup MDT Live Edition. If you guys are watching this video and you don't know what the hell MDT Live is or the PickFed, definitely go back on the MDT Wrestling uh, playlist on the channel and check it out. And uh, be, be sure to stick around and subscribe if you enjoyed. Leave a like. Comment down below what you thought of the setup. What do you expect out of MDT Live Episode 13? Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.